Adventure, excitement, a Jedi craves not these things. As an EC affiliate, I received this box of Star Wars goodies, and I'm so excited to share them with you. I did receive all of this product for free from Erin Condren, but all of the opinions in this video are my own. And if you are interested in any of these items, have questions about them or anything, be sure to let me know in the comments. And when this collection drops on July 6th, I would appreciate it if you would use my affiliate link. I will receive a small commission, but it doesn't cost you anything extra. I will leave the link in the box below. And now let's get into the product because I know that's why you're here, not to see me. Where should we start? Do we do Rebel Alliance versus the dark side or do we go by product type? I think I'm going to go with product type. Okay, the first item I'm going to talk about is this set of nine ballpoint triangular shaped pens. Now each pen has a little icon and a saying on each barrel. So like we've got Fuel your destiny. Don't fly solo, take a Wookiee. So each barrel is a different color, has a different icon, different saying, but these are all black ballpoint pens. Personally, I would love to see Erin Condren add some blue ink to their ballpoint pens or gel pens. Because even though I love black ink as much as everybody else, sometimes I think it's good to shake it up a little bit. I like using blue too. Now these pens are super lightweight. They're like surprisingly light. I was surprised at how light they are. I don't really have anything else to compare them with. They're lighter than these uh, ultra fine point pens. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? I've got these gel ones. They're probably about the same weight as these gel pens, if you have those. Now, the triangle shape does make them a little awkward when you're first trying to write with them, but I think you'll get used to it and find it a little bit easier once you've used it a few times. I also love that they come in this cool plastic triangle. You can reuse this to hold your pens because these are triangular, so they may not fit in other pen holders, at least not very well. So triangular pens, you get nine of them. They're all black ballpoint pens. Each pen is a different color with an icon and a little saying on it. So we'll move these out of the way. And we'll take a look at the Alliance Ultimate Planny Pack. I love this new style of Planny Pack compared to the old ones. I know not everybody is a fan of them, but I like them because it does zipper more open and it has the two pockets on the inside. And it's got this pocket on the front. The old one had it back here. And I never used it in the back because it was always like strapped onto a notebook. I also really love the zipper pull. It is the rebel symbol. And I wish they would put this on all of the Star Wars stuff with a zipper because I love it so much. And the pattern is this kind of like funky 60s, 70s style with little sayings and our favorite, some of our favorite characters. And I, this font 
kind of reminds me, like I said, of that, like, 60s, 70s, so, like, a little nod to the first movies. I use the Ultimate Planny Pack to hold my, what I call my content planner pens and sticky notes. I just hook them onto whatever notebook planner I'm using and can take it on the go with me. Next up, we have the pencil pouch. It has the same Alliance pattern on it, but alas, no rebel symbol on the zipper. We just get the normal Erin Condren zipper pull. I would have loved to have seen that, this, on here as well. It does look like you will be able to customize this right here. Usually you can put like your name or a short saying. Uh, I would suggest maybe if it fits, I just as soon kiss a Wookiee because I have that on my ginormous pen folio and every time I pull it out, it just cracks me up. My day job is a boring office job and so I take all of my fun highlighters, pens, and dot markers in a pencil pouch like this with a couple of EC sticker notes, sticky notes, so that I can have fun planning supplies at my boring job. And this also actually, I have a old iPhone for work and my iPhone fits in one of these pencil pouches as well. If you have a larger phone, it probably would still fit in there. I just threw in some old Star Wars stuff to show you what you can put in there so you can get your fun little sticker books, sticky notebooks like that in there. We got the little magnetic bookmarks fit in there. And yes, you can fit a phone in there. So that is all of the pens and pencil pouches. Let's check out stickers next. Okay, sorry about that rough transition. I had to go get my dog, she was barking, and then she had a zoomie, but now she's laying next to me, so hopefully she'll stay calm. This sticker book is actually already out. I already have two of them because I loved it so much. I will do a quick flip through of one that's already open in case you haven't seen this one yet. And I'm gonna do a giveaway for this one. Still in the pack, everything. So quick rules, and I'll put these in the description below with a couple more details. Must be US resident, you must be following me on YouTube, and it must be a public, not private follow. And then comment below with your favorite Star Wars quote that you would put on an Aaron Condren item. Entries will close on July 4th. I will announce the winner on 7-6 when the collection goes live. So let's flip through this book really quick. So these are all of the stickers in here. We've got functional and decorative kind of a mix in here. I'll also link to a reel that I've already done of these where I flip through it. But I just loved these stickers so much when I got the original pack that I had to order a second one. Like there's definitely a good variety in here. You even got some, they're like more little kid fun, comic booky. And of course, gotta have Grogu. And we get a four pack of freaking washi, y'all. I was so excited when I opened the box and I saw this in here. I am gonna need more of this. Probably will order another pack for myself. We've got Grogu and Mando on this lovely teal color. We've got little holographic Rebel Alliance on this really pretty burgundy. And then we've got Millennium Falcon, TIE Fighters, X-Wings on a peach background. Now, 
If it were me, I would have made this like a darker blue background, kind of like space, but that's just me. I'll still use it. I just would have liked to see it on like a bluer, a deeper blue, I think. And lastly, we have the character outlines in gold. And this one is gonna look really great on pretty much anything. I really wanna try it on black Bujo paper. I think it would make the gold just like really pop. And then I received two of the, you know, standard Erin Condren sticker sheets. The Alliance one here, I'm guessing this one, you'll probably be able to customize the colors because some of these you can, some you can't, but I'm guessing this one is gonna be customizable. This came in black and tan. Let's give you a little close up here. Now I would guess the Boba Fett one probably isn't going to be customizable because of the ombre effect in green, orange, and red. And I am totally in love with the sheet. I think it looks a little 90s-ish with the lines that run through Boba Fett and this little speckled background. But I love it. I can't wait to use this one. And honestly, I've bought all of the stickers so far. So I have enough stickers in washi that I could probably do six months in my daily duo and not run out. We are getting some new list and notepads. These are standard two pack with 25 pages each and that Erin Condren signature 80 pound paper. I absolutely love this Boba Fett list pad. Is that not cool? The only drawback I can see with this one is finding the right pen or the perfect pen that will work on it because you've got that, again, kind of red to orange to green ombre effect. And then this is the Alliance notepad. You can customize that. This one they did choose your destiny for us. I, like I said before, have been personalizing most of my Star Wars items with little quotes. It's just really fun to figure out quotes that match the pattern. So your list pads, notepads, these are always great for your growing to-do list at work. You can write a quick note to a coworker. You can do your grocery list on these, prep for vacations, all kinds of stuff. These are so handy to have laying around. And next we get a Snap-in Universal Dashboard. I really love this dark green color. Sorry for the reflection there. And I love that they did the accent in silver. I get tired of everything planner related being gold. And I also like that this is reusable when you use wet or dry erase marker on it. The one thing that I do not like about pretty much every one of these snap-in dashboards is the Monday through Sunday is on the back. Even when I used a weekly planner that annoyed me it annoys me more now that I'm in a daily duo, and I wish this was the front. So like when you snap it in your week, so you got your first half of the week or your Monday over here with that, then you flip it over, and then you can see the second half of your week. I want this on this side. That's just me. I don't know. I've heard other people say that before, so I know I'm not the only one, and I don't know why... Erin Condren does it this way instead. These are a great addition to your planner because you can use them for so many different things. You can use them both for school and work as you'll have priorities and to do. And then on the days of the week, you can put in important meetings, due dates. Uh, you could use this to put your personal appointments in here. So while you're at work and if something comes up, you can look and see oh, well, 
Thursday, I've got a doctor's appointment, so I have to leave early that day and I can't meet at two o'clock or whatever. Snap and dashboard, really pretty. Love all the details. I really love this green and that it's silver. I just wish this was the front. Ah, next up, notebooks. Who doesn't love a good notebook? And I keep getting notebooks, even though I'm on a self-imposed no-buy of notebooks. It's not working. I received two vegan leather notebooks, and I am dying, dying. I don't even know which one to start with. Y'all, these are freaking gorgeous. And I kind of want to get more of them. Yes, I might have a problem. But in my defense, notebooks can be used for so many things. Let's see. You can use them as your planner. You can take notes in class. Or if you're doing a online video class, you can do your own continuing education stuff there. You can use notebooks for tracking that, taking notes. You can use them at work because, you know, you got to keep all that shit straight. You can write out your YouTube video outlines. You can make notes for your blogs. Notebooks are the best because they can literally be used for anything. Okay, okay, on to the actual notebooks. Let's start with my favorite because as I ripped open the box, I had my fingers and toes crossed and was praying that this was in here. I would have bought it even if it wasn't. I had seen a photo when the academic planner was released and wanted it at that time. It is Darth Vader on a vegan leather cover. Old Darth has been a favorite character of mine forever. Not because I like him, but because I hate him. He is evil. But the character is so well done. Plus, you got the helmet, the breathing, the voice. Oh, so good. In that revelation. No, I am your father. Dead. All right. And with all of the Star Wars notebooks, they have the beautiful artwork on the inside. These are so well done, y'all. This one is a lined notebook. But they are also available in dot grid, blank, productivity, and graph paper. And then in the back, you get a sheet of the functional flag stickers. Honestly, I never use these stickers. Sometimes I rip them out and add them to my planning stickers, but I still never use them. I just don't have much use for them in a notebook. I use pen and highlighter mostly to accent stuff. Okay, so the other vegan leather notebook is this gorgeous white cover with all of our favorite rebel fighters and Chewie! Have I mentioned Chewie is my favorite? Oh, we also have R2-D2 on here and he's my other favorite. I can't pick. So the characters are all in gold, and although I'm not a gold person, I just told you that like two seconds ago, this looks amazing and expensive and sleek and fancy, and you would not be embarrassed to carry this baby around. And O-M-G, did y'all see this inside? EC has outdone themselves with this notebook. Seriously, this notebook is freaking gorgeous. I can't decide if I love this one or this one more. Like, blown out of the water, y'all. This one here is also lined, but again, you have all of the layouts to pick from. Now, EC has also snuck in something new. Y'all remember during the warehouse sale they had an A5 three subject notebook? Well, we got one 
in 7x9 now. And this has the interchangeable cover on the front. And this one, again, has that kind of, like, mod 60s, 70s vibe to it. And it's got the ombre. Clearly, they're going for the ombre 70s vibe with this line. I absolutely love it. So as I said, there are three... I can open covers. There are three sections in this notebook. And they are a lined, a dot grid, and a graph. So we open it up. We have a lined note page with R2-D2 up here. We got our divider. And then we get a dashboard. So this has a dashboard in each section, like our favorite life planner, but it's followed by just a bunch of blank pages. And the I do love that this big box here is lined and doesn't really have any decoration in it because the life planner, depending which design you get, this box is either blank or it's got blank with some kind of big design in it. So that is nice with this dashboard. So this is great for school, work, home projects. So first section lined with our lovely R2-D2. And we flip to the end of that section and we get a dot grid with Yoda, our divider, another dashboard, and then we have dot grid pages with Yoda. We get our graph paper with Wicket W. Warwick in the corner. Nice divider. Dashboard followed by a bunch of dot of graph paper. I keep wanting to call it dot grid, y'all. My mouth is not working properly. So all of these little characters, oh my gosh, they're so cute. I mean, let's get some close-ups here. Look at how cute he is. I'll go back. Look at Yoda. Oh my gosh. And we got to get a little close-up of R2. So cute. I cannot decide which one is my favorite of these three sections. This notebook really feels like a good home project planner, especially with this graph paper. You can sketch out, you know, how you want to rearrange the furniture. You can put paint uh, chip things on here. So lots of uses for this one. And look at the stickers you get with this one. I wish these stickers also came in these notebooks. I would absolutely love that instead of getting these because I am more apt to use these than the other ones. All right, so let's say you see this notebook, you love it. You're not a big fan of the cover though. Maybe you want to purchase a separate interchangeable cover. Like what about, oh, I don't know, Boba Fett instead. So again, we got that cool ombre effect and it's the stickers have this too, this little like speckled look that makes it look kind of worn because, you know, Boba's seen some stuff. And then on the inside, we have another little Boba Fett. So that cover is pretty darn cool. I might have to put it on the front of one of my planners. All right, now we're going to get into the EC stuff that you've been waiting for. We've got some planners. Saving the best for last. First up, how adorable is this first ever Star Wars planner for kids? Look at that cover. It is adorable. I keep trying to think of a way to use this for myself, but it is really geared towards kids. So I'm going to be give, giving this to a child that I know, and they will have lots of fun with it. So let's take a look at the inside. So to start off, our first tab here is All About Me. 
So of course we got the nice sayings on the dividers. We have like a little all about me section where you can write and draw in some of your favorite things, your family, your birthday. Then we have a reading log. I think I skipped a page, nope. Goal tracker, allowance tracker, what I'm saving for, so you can write in that droid that you wanna buy up there, books I want to read, and a blank note page. And then we get into the months. Now these are meant to start with January because there's stickers in the back that match the month. Hold on, let me grab those out so we can kind of look at them together. So the back has this little plastic pouch and it has a mini month guide to help you line up your date dots on your month. And it has all of the monthly stickers here. So you get your kind of dashboard, you get to, each month has a fun drawing activity, dashboard, and then your monthly spread. So this is supposed to be January and this is the January stickers. So they match up to the theme of the month and they include holidays and then some blank stickers and the date dots. After the month, you have a monthly wrap up and a fun activity. And these are all based on whatever the month is. So this would be February. So we have our February month stickers. So this is, like I said, the first ever Star Wars kid planner and it is super cute. And these stickers, I just want these stickers. Can they sell these stickers separately, please? I am just in like cuteness overload over here. All right, so that is the first ever kids planner, Star Wars kids planner. And I was also sent the academic cover. It was, re or academic cover, academic planner. It was actually released last month. And I was planning on ordering one anyway, because I am in love with the Star Wars interior theme. Like, I don't know why they didn't put this in the Life Planner when that launched way back in the day, the Daily Duo, the Vertical, whatever, because I would have bought it. But now I have an academic planner because I just needed one. Actually, I didn't need it. I want it because it is Star Wars themed inside. And I don't know how I'm going to use it yet, but I will figure something out. Uh, this one, if you didn't notice, had that Alliance theme on the front. It is customizable. This one says, choose your destiny. Then we go inside. We've got our name page with the little stars. And then we have the mini months. I just, I think these two pages are gorgeous and I want to rip them out and hang them on the wall so I can look at them every day. And we have our typical heritage and awareness observances, class schedule, blank note page, and look at that. Very cool. Each month has a different theme carried throughout the month from the tab divider. So this is August to the monthly spread the dashboard, projects and exam, and the weekly pages. The academic is a horizontal planner, but it kind of feels like a vertical because each day is split into three with two uh, line boxes and a to-do box. This would be really great for project management, uh, work, because your Saturday and Sunday are split down here, so they don't take up as much space. You get more space for the weekdays. You could also use this for a content planner, or if your daily life doesn't really have a lot going on on the weekends. It does not have to be used just for academics. So if you're not a student 
but you still want this, I say go for it. Because this interior theme is awesome. And then in the back, before I, oh yeah, each month has, uh, I think it's, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight note pages. And I'm just flinging stuff around. So, got the Millennium Falcon, and then you've got the Death Star. So those are the note pages. It does come with a sheet of functional stickers in the back. Now these are very school oriented, but I will definitely use the vacation and the read stickers because I read. So that is everything that I got. Overall, as I said, I am just blown away by this collection. And I'm going to see if there's anything else that I didn't get because I will buy it. And there's a few things I don't like on certain items, but nothing that would prevent me personally from grabbing them. If you are a Star Wars and an Aaron Condren fan, you really cannot go wrong with this Back to School collection. What will you be grabbing from this collection? And don't forget, if you want to win the sticker book, to let me know in the comments your favorite Star Wars quote that you would put on an item. And if you want what item you'd personalize with that quote. I would also love it if you would hit that subscribe button because you'll be notified whenever new videos come out. And until next time, may the force be with you.